Okay, now that we've read a text and watched a video within Readlang, let's explore the wider world of Spanish language websites by entering the website section. This shows the most popular Spanish websites amongst Readlang users. It contains lots of news sites, so it's great if you're interested in keeping up with current events. Sites like Wikipedia offer you the chance to learn from a huge variety of different content. Other sites such as Cuento Sin Fin contain short stories for you to read. There are magazines like National Geographic in Espanol. Another short story site, but this time aimed more at children. A technology news blog. Have a browse through here and find something that looks interesting to you. But then before visiting it, let's install the Chrome extension, which will provide the translation tools on any web page that we visit. You can see here that it's had a five star review from uh, 55 different people, and it has quite a few users already. So let's add that to Chrome. There we go, the, the green R button in the corner. And let's visit, let's just pick the top one for now, BBC Mundo and find out a bit about what's going on in the world. ¿Cuál es el costo para Europa si Grecia se va de la Eurozona? Let's try this one. Now that we're on the page that we want to read, let's click the Read Lang button. You'll see the toolbar opens in the corner, and now we can click on any word to get a translation. Nadia Duda, nobody doubts. And just like within Readlang, if we're not sure of a translation, we can open the dictionary and that will pop up a dictionary at the side here. And every time we click on a word, that will become updated with the definitions. And it just provides, just like within Readlang, a really easy way to absorb yourself in stories from all around the internet without getting too stuck with the language because you've got this really quick, easy way to understand the meaning of a word or phrase just by clicking on it quickly. There we go. If you want to follow a link to another page, all you have to do is hover over the link. You can see clicking on the link itself will translate the words within it so you can get the meaning of it and then if you actually want to follow it through you can click this open link button and then the readlang toolbar will reload Im immediately so that you can continue translating the spanish words to english if you actually want to to leave the page or to to continue reading without the readlang extension what you do is go into menu and close. And that will reload the page without the Readlang extension there.